Yo, what's going on good people? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy LLB. I hope we're all having a great, great day. I've been kind of slacking a lot recently on just picking up the guitar and just learning how to do certain shapes, you know, pull certain chords, finger picking patterns and all that kind of stuff. I really want to get into making more real loops or at least make the beginning of the loops real. I just need to get the guitar in my hands at least once a day, 15, 20 minutes and just pull some chords and just practice some bits. And what I have found already is that it makes it so much easier to make guitar loops in FL Studio just with like a contact library or uh, ample guitar or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get some practice in real quick. I'm gonna pull some chords and then I'm going to go into FL Studio, pull up a guitar VST and just show you from scratch how I'd make a really nice vibey guitar melody. And yeah, hopefully you can spice up your guitar melodies as well. So yeah, I'll try and like delve into everything in terms of the VST, how to put the chord progressions together, the top melodies, and even some counter melodies like flutes and vocal chops. And yeah, just, just basically make a solid beat. So yeah, let's get into this one, man. Before we do, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and jump on the Mercurial sample pack. It's my latest sample pack. I'll put the link down in the description. There's a free download for it as well. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Uh, and yeah, man, let's get into this one. Walk up to my coolie, what it do? Meet me in the alley with the wolf. I got one on me, I got two. Let me on the other side with you. Jenny, all the hearty girl chokes. We gon' ride the bed, bring the loop. Yeah. All right, man. Okay, let's keep things going with the acoustic vibes. I'm feeling something kind of like Spanish-y, you know, something really melodic and, and it's just got like a nice triplet bounce to it. So the guitar I'm using is the Ilya Efimov acoustic guitar. It's a really vibey, just go-to acoustic guitar for me. And yeah, I'm going to go with something Spanish-y. I haven't really played with any of the settings on here. I'm going to turn the reverb off. I'm going to put the pick on and I think that'll be it for now. So yeah, let's go with like a Spanish-y style chord progression. So I'm in D minor right now, so I'm going to start things off with a D minor chord. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'd be already. Let's go to C major. Okay, I like the chords, but I'm going to invert it. So instead of starting with C, I want it to go up. So I'm going to go to E. Finish on E. Yeah, that sounds better. And then I'm going to go down. Let's go to B flat, so we'll go with, um, let's go with the B flat major. Okay, then the last one I'm going to go with, I'm going to go down. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so we'll go with A. I'll go with another major, A major. A good trick for Spanish style melodies is to finish on a major. It kind of adds a bit of tension to it. Yeah, so if I put that like that instead, E there, E there, and we'll finish on the C sharp at the top. Oh yeah. That's the chord progression right there. Okay, so I'm just going to randomize these keys. Now, normally people would recommend to hit Alt and R, but when I'm making like strummed out acoustic guitar melodies, I tend to do it manually because I kind of picture the guitar in my hand and, and kind of feel how I would actually play each string. Uh, and it just makes more sense to me. So yeah, I'm going to do that. That one would be quieter. Okay. Okay, that's vibe, and I'm gonna just copy these across. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit to 118. And then in this second half, I'm just gonna invert some of the keys. So I'm gonna invert this last chord. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, and there we go, we've got our chord progression. I'm gonna put it into the mixer. And now let's go into some effects and like what effects you can throw onto this kind of melody. So the first thing I do normally is just add an EQ. Come to this preset right here. It's the 20 hertz, 18, 18K hertz cut. And just clean up the low end. That's fine. Add some RC20, add some really nice color to this. Give that kind of down sampled vibe. Okay, I like this final three preset. 
I'm going to go ahead and add some vinyl to this as well. I've not used vinyl in a long time. Where is it? Isotope vinyl. The goat. I'm going to turn the dust up. Turn the wear up. Uh, turn the mechanical noise up, sorry. Go to 1970. Yeah, just subtle. And I think that'd be it. What I'm gonna do now is start adding some layers now. So I want this melody to sound like really melodic, but full at the same time. So I'm going to clone this. I'm going to copy and paste those chords into here. But these are just gonna play all at the same time like that, instead of being strummed out. Vibes. Okay, best part, top melody. One thing I'm gonna do before I add a top melody is add some more effects. It's still a little bit too dry for me. I'm gonna add some elements actually. Quake, distortion, some reverb, that's better. Okay, now let's go and add the fun part, man, let's add this top melody in. Now with the top melody, there isn't really any rules, like there's no like specific rules, but there is some just like things that I go to, especially for these kind of melodies. I like to add triplets, you know, going down, going up, but try and keep them close together, so like, Either keep them in the same note, or you can put them like, like ascending downwards, going going back to the root note. So I'm just gonna click something in, and yeah, just see what we can put together with it. Do you know what? I might actually switch up this chord progression. But instead of switching it straight away after the first bar, we're just gonna have that first chord play twice. See what it sounds like anyway. Yeah, that's better, that's better. Hmm. That's a vibe. I'm gonna copy and paste that cross to the next section, but we're gonna switch up a little bit in this second bit. There you go. This is turning into a vibe already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two different counter melodies. I'm gonna have that one playing, and then I'm gonna have like more of a simple one playing for like the B part of the melody. So I'm just gonna put this into the arrangement, copy these across, copy this one across, make it unique, and let's just put in a different top melody for the second part. Alright, this is turning out to be a vibe, man. Okay, let's go in with one more instrument, one more prominent instrument, and then we might add some textures and just atmospheric sounds to finish the loop off. So I'm gonna add a flute. I'm gonna go to Analog Lab. I'm gonna go with a strawberry flute. Already got that kind of sampled feel to it. Da, da, da. Hmm. Vibey. There's some noise in there, so I'm just going to tame that off a little bit with an EQ. I'm going to open up the effect rack on this flute. I'm going to add the tremolator to it. Just give it a nice, like, wobbly kind of effect. Okay, that's a vibe. Let's just structure this real quick and then bounce out as a WAV file. All right, let's take a look at this sample. What I'm gonna do, I think, with this sample first is just pitch it down by one semitone. I'm gonna open it up in Edison. I'm gonna right click the sample rate. I'm gonna drop this down to like 20,000. Make sure resample is checked, tempo sync. Just down sampling it basically. 
Yeah. It just kind of makes it sound a bit more textured. I've already got an idea for what I want to do before I start adding drums. I'm going to add something from Splice. I've got this really cool like texture and it's got a Spanish vibe to it. It's got, it, I think it's just like a, it's just like a bongo perk loop. It's on decap. Yeah. Yep, put that into the mixer, some EQ to it. And some delay. I'm gonna put like a really random delay on this, like a six step, turn it way down, add another one, ping pong it. That. And then half time. Some more EQ. Hmm. Okay, drums. Enough messing about with this loop now. Let's put some drums in. All right, I'm going to go into a kit, secret kit that I'm working on. It's not secret anymore, but eyes open. Something really just different. Just proper fade them out. Little triplet one right there. Oops. Okay, let's put another little choppy thing right up here. We just put some really quiet ones everywhere, just here, there, and everywhere, really. There's a bounce right there. Just to add a bit more groove to this, I'm just going to come to the wrench tool and drag the shift knob up. Let's put a clap in. Do you know what? I'm going to go to the hero kit. I'm not, I'm not touched the hero kit in time. Perks. Oh yeah, let's put that classic Metro perk in there. Let's put this little shaker perk in. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go with an eight to eight, shall we? Boost. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's so simple, it just slaps. Okay, let's just lengthen all of these notes. I'm just gonna come into the envelope and just add like a little choppy one. Turn the hold up, everything else down. I'm really not going to do too much of those 808s. The melodies just carry in most of this beat. The drums just give an air bounce. Okay, I'm going to, the last thing I'm going to add is a kick. So I'm going to come into the Minerva kit. I think that'll work. I'm just going to copy and paste the notes from the 808 onto the kick. Hit Alt K. Extra one right there. Little pause right here. Right here. Mm. And the flute comes back in, man. It's game over.